folks, welcome back to another Newbie Views. Food review just for you. Today, being the holidays, we have a perfect opportunity to test a few gravies. In fact, we're going to find out who makes the best gravy from a can. Today, we're just going to start off with the four. We got a couple of more, but let's start off with four. We've got Swiss Chalet with their home style gravy. Obviously, hot chicken sandwich. In our case, since it's the holidays, we've got some leftover turkey. Hot turkey sandwiches. Give a thumbs up for hot turkey sandwiches. Next, we've got Swiss Chalet again with their beef gravy. Is there a difference? I think there could be. And then we go to budget. A dollar. This is 99 cents. No name brand poutine gravy. And the big one, Saint Hubert. The classic chicken franchise of Quebec. Probably the greatest French Canadian chicken rotisserie place that I know of. Saint Hubert, you've, the place you want to get chicken in Quebec. Oh, their poutine sauce. Let's try that out. So we got some classic folks. Swiss Chalet. No name. Saint Hubert. Who makes the best gravy? Let's cook up a batch. Let's cook up some hot turkey sandwiches and let's taste test them. Stay tuned. Folks, if you like this content, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And turn on notifications so you know when we shoot a next video. Now, just before we do that, let's check the macros. So this is the home style gravy from Sua Chalet. And if you look at it, this is 20 calories. I Hopefully you guys can see this. 20 calories. 1% fat, and this is for a quarter cup. And here's the big one, 310 sodium, 300 milligrams, 310 milligrams, that's 13% for one quarter cup. And there's no appreciable fat or anything like that, but that is the big one. Our second one, the beef gravy, again, Swiss Chalet, for again, a quarter cup, da, 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 320, so about the same salt content. The no-name brand Poutine. Let's have a quick look at this. Specs, again, a quarter cup, 60 milligrams. Going through it, still the same. Sodium, sodium, 340. 15%. So these are relatively all about the same. And then the last one, St. Hubert's. Check this out. Again, 60 mils, 20 cows, 420 milligrams of sodium. 420, that's 25% more than the St. Hubert. I wonder if this is going to be the saltiest of the bunch. We'll find out. Alright guys, this is it. Now just to let you know, this was almost $2, $2.99, also about $2, they got $1.75. So these are the higher end pricing, this is the cheapest. Let's go heat them up, let's go get tasting. Alright, our first one's going to be the Swiss Chalet Home Style Gravy. When I opened it up, this is what it looks like. It's a light brown. Looks pretty good. Mmm, it smells herby. I, I do love that smell. So that's the first one. Okay, guys. We've got a quarter, ah, oh, I'd say half a can of the Swiss Chalet home style gravy. We're going to heat this up, put it on their first sandwich. We'll see you at the dining room table. Here's our very first sandwich. We're just gonna do a quick gravy pour all over this. All right, 
hope you can see this. Oh, this is the home style gravy. All right, let's grab the lid on it. This is the lighter gravy. Oh, guys, can you see that? Oh, my mouth is drooling. Let's get our, let's get to the dining room table. Let's try these two sandwiches out. I have a second pot. Let's get our second beef gravy. This one is the Swiss Chalet beef gravy. Show the logo. Again, let's take about a half a can. We're gonna get that into a half a sandwich. A turkey sandwich. On our first reveal. Oh, this is darker. It's probably just more coloring, but again, I'm gonna use half a can. So both those are done. Let's go heat these two up and get them on sandwiches for test number one. Here comes sandwich number two. Just gonna do the gravy pour for you. Oh, wow. Now we'll put the lid on. Gotta cover everything with gravy, right? I know some of you might say there's not enough gravy, but this is the test of the gravy, not, not covering a sandwich with gravy, so. Sandwich number two down. All right, guys, here we go. We're going for our third one. This is the no-name brand. They call it poutine gravy. Let's open it up. Now, just to let you know, I've washed the top of these because you never know what's on top of these cans. You never know who's touched these cans. You don't know if there's or whatever in the store. So I've washed the cans. Oh, wow. So if you have a look at this, our no-name brand. It is a light brown. Ouch. Struggling. The struggle is real, folks. The struggle is real. Oh, yeah. It's dripping all over the place. This looks the wateriest of the bunch. The other ones look thick. This looks watery. But we'll see how it tastes. Let's get that going next. Pot is clean. Let's get some of this no-name brand gravy. Uh, about half again. Now this is a bigger can, so I'll use half of it. I don't really need that much, but let's get that heated up. Now this has a lot of dark specks, which I assume is a lot of spices. So let's get this gravy onto the stove and heat it up. With the no-name brand gravy, have, let's have the pour. Oh. Ooh, this is quite runny. Let's get the lid on it. Now this gravy looks like the runniest of the bunch. All right, guys, for the fourth one, let's open up the St. Hubert's poutine gravy as well. Oh boy, this, oh, this should be the best one there, but I don't know. That's what I'm here to test it for you guys. Crank it open. Remember, this has the most salt, so I wonder if it's going to be the saltiest. Watch my fingers. I hate cans. They're almost impossible to get the lid off. There we go. Here we go. Oh, surprisingly, this gravy looks almost identical to the poutine one of the no-name brand and the homestyle gravy of the lightness. The darkest one is the beef gravy. I wonder if the beef gravy from... Swiss Chalet will be the di richest, deepest flavor. All right, let's pour some out. Let's go cook this up and let's go test it on some sandwiches. All right, we got our fourth pan, which is the St. Hubert. Oh, I'm gonna take, take about half a can. We're gonna take about half a can. This is the St. Hubert's. Oh, God, it's bubbling hot. Let's do the pour. This also looks a little bit runny, but taste will tell you how good it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum. That looks amazing. All right, guys. 
not as much sauce, but we'll put you at the dining room table next. Boom. We've got sandwich number one. Oops. We've got sandwich number two. We got a victim. I mean, we've got our tester. So just need to test the chicken and the gravy, sir. Let's take the gravy or the flavor, whatever you prefer. Mm. Can I have to eat the bread? No, just eat the chicken with the gravy. Mm. I want the flavor of the gravy. This is. Let's try number one over there. No. All right, number two. Mm. Not bad. Salty? Not salty? I need a bigger bite. Need a bigger bite? Sweet. Let's see. It's not salty. Not that salty. Good flavor? Yeah. All right. Let's try number two. This is just a taste test. There's a second fork there for you, sir. This is the beef gravy. Okay. And that's pretty good. Is it better than the first one? You gotta pick a choose a winner. Which do you think is better? This one. The home style. Is the loser. Oh, the loser. Mm -hmm. What's better about the uh, the big beef gravy? Yeah, tastes better. Tastes better. All right, guys. The flavor there. All right, let's move on to sandwich number three and four. Meanwhile, as you can probably see, we do have a Christmas fest going on. I'm gonna go in for a quick bite as well. Oops. All right, guys, I'm going in for a sandwich bite as well. This is the, this is the home style gravy. Well, this is the home style gravy. It has an aftertaste. I can't put my finger on it. It's like a caramel aftertaste, maybe. Um, it's not unpleasant. And the gravy has kind of a starchy aftertaste, but it's good. I'm going to go and try out the, oh, now butchered. I'm going to try the uh, beef gravy one. After all, we are having beef gravy turkey sandwiches. Now this is a much thicker, browner gravy. Oh, yeah. This does not have the caramel undertone bite or aftertaste that the home style has and if i'm thinking correctly this gravy mm, th this gravy is a little too salty maybe it's because it's a thinner gravy the same amount of salt i think on both but this one the salt comes through in the flavor the beef gravy masks that salt content. Guys, this is a winner. This is a much better gravy. That is the Swiss Chalet beef gravy. Home style, I think it's too salty. Now, don't get me wrong. These are both good gravies. This one's just better. Right now, this uh, beef gravy, I'm telling you right now, is fire. Mmm. All right, let me just finish this off for a second. I'd get Charlotte to come out too, but she's in cosplay mode right now for a TikTok channel, so I can't really bug her. Have you clicked that like button? Have you hit notifications on? If you haven't, please do so. Those content creators gotta get their stuff out specifically on time. You know how it is, guys. Uh-oh. Sandwich is all done. Guys, we have two more to go. Let's go get that ready. Guess who made a special appearance for you guys? Yes, it's Charlotte. Newbie Views has got a second reviewer. All right, Charlotte, this is sandwich number three. 
No name gravy. Give it a taste. You can have the turkey that's underneath if you want. How's that gravy? Don't know what that means, but we'll see what does it taste beefy? Does it taste chickeny? No. Nine out of them? Okay. Does it taste good? Yes. It's good? Yes. Alright. Well, let's do the second one. That is going to be the Saint Hubert's. You can jump up and hit him. It tastes good. It tastes good. Is it better than this no name brand? Yes. Nice. Alright, how's that turkey? This one tastes better than that one. So there it is, guys. Looks like Saint Hubert beats out the no name brand. This is the no-name brand gravy. I'm gonna have a quick taste test. What the? Oh. Oh. Whoa! This thing is peppery, guys. This no-name gravy is super peppery. That is unexpected. Now this doesn't have an aftertaste, but it is really salty and it is super peppery. Yeah, it's got a weird, it's like it's spicy. I, I don't think I really enjoy this gravy at all. There is a peppery element to this. And I'm gonna say it's not in a good way either. Oh, I've had enough. I'm gonna pass on this gravy. All right, this is the St. Hubert's. I'm expecting this great things from this, so I have a piece of turkey. Ugh. I almost want to clean my mouth from the flavor of that one. No, All right, here we go. Some, yep, neutral. Mmm. Not too sure I'm tasting here. Hold on. After you take a bite or so, the salt content is, is a little higher. I can taste it saltier. Are you lying? Yeah. No, I said no. This has a very similar taste to the... Oh, it has a very similar taste to the... Uh, because. Hmm. Here. This also has a peppery taste. This is better than the, than the no-name brand. This still has a very bland flavor to it, though. I I expected something a little more um, beefy or chickeny based, but it doesn't. It's good. Too salty. Everything else is pretty good, but hands down, the winner that we're crowning as the best gravy so far is going to be. Let me go get it. Drum roll. And you probably already knew it, guys. The best gravy is, boom, Swiss Chalet beef gravy. This will blow your socks off for now. Show the logo. This is not sponsored. I spent all this money, I think two bucks or $1.75 a can for these guys. You get what you pay for. In this case, Swiss Chalet, you got her thumbs up. All right, folks, that was the end of the gravy review. If you like this video, don't forget to put the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click on notifications so you can be updated when our next video comes out. And thanks to the Newbie View crew. Thanks for coming out, guys. And we will see you on the next video. All right, and this is a shout-out to Dame Drops. Super official food review. He said to shout out to all our food content creators. We're trying to back each other up. That's what I'm doing. If you haven't checked out his super official food reviews, I got a link in the description below. Until then, we'll see you later.